Yo, what's up? It's your boy Juno. This is the first video I've uploaded in God knows how long, a couple months at least. And this is going to be a no-nonsense, simple, basic guide on the auto axe in Fallout 76. So, let's get into it. Now, where do you acquire the auto axe? So, on your map, you want to go from wherever you are to the White Spring Resort. There are two icons on the map. Go to the one that says the White Spring Resort, obviously. Now when you click on it, it'll say White Spring Refuge or Exterior, you click uh, White Spring Refuge so you automatically go in. Now once you're in, you just follow exactly where I go and I will talk as soon as my character makes it over to the vendor you're going to want to meet. And as you can see, we found the guy we want to talk to. His name is Giuseppe, and this guy is our adorable little scam artist. So as you can see, uh, he has a plethora of plans that cost stamps. Stamps are acquired through expeditions. You can do them daily or constantly repeat them, whatever. The auto axe will cost you 500 stamps, and the other thing you're going to want to buy along with the auto axe to get your maximum efficiency of damage out of it is the electrified mod. Not the turbo mod, but the electrified mod. Now it's time for the fun part that I imagine most of you are here for. How do you build an auto axe? How much does it take to craft? What do you want to do to mod it? So let's go over that right now. Alright, so you go to Ed's Melee Weapons, which is where you'll find it once you have the plan. And the cost in craft will be 9 adhesives, 10 gears, 10 oil, 10 screws, and 19 steel for a level 50. No one below level 50 is going to have an auto axe, I imagine, but I just scroll through this slowly if you want to see anyways for your own curiosity. Why not? Alright, so, best mods. So, the only mods you can have are the elemental mods like Poison, Fire, Electric, and the Turbo. Turbo sucks, wouldn't recommend it, just off the bat, gives you less damage, more DPS really ain't that worth it. Uh, just go with Electrified, Electrified is the only thing you should have on this, nothing else. Alright, simple as that, just gives you more damage overall. And finally, the Legendary mods. So, if you want to do more damage like me, go for bloodied or if you want survivability which is probably better i can't get my hands on it right now is vampires and the power attack damage increase uh and then for the third honestly anything will go it's up to you and uh yeah quite simply and quickly that is how you mod it my personal favorite part of these guide videos is showing you the build so let's get into that so i'll show you exactly what i run and where to spec your special points into if you want to go exactly with what i'm doing 15 Strength, 1 Perception, 3 Endurance, 7 Charisma, 15 Intelligence, 8 Agility, and 7 Luck. Like I said, only if you want to run exactly what I'm doing and don't want to escape. You can customize this to your liking if you don't agree with what I'm doing. Okay, so obviously you're going to want to have Insizer and all 3 Sluggers and Strength. Low Side and Perception if you have 3 of that. Same with Endurance. Uh, fireproof is really good. You want to have all of the Charisma perks I have because they're really good as well. Uh, intelligence, you can customize this wherever you want. A lot of this is just to my own... You know, customization. Take out stabilized in there, that's not supposed to be there, and put in stable tools. Action boy and agility for extra AP regen, because this thing takes AP and it's annoying. Uh, the, all those luck perks are really good. Uh, survivability, extra damage, and ignoring the annoying downside mutation. And yeah, uh, you can get all of this through your head, obviously. This is pretty simple. Um, science because this thing has energy damage, electric absorption because I'm in power armor, taking one for the team for more damage, ammo factory just because it's there, and you can take those legendary things and make them whatever you want honestly. Now this segment of the video is dedicated to showing the power of my auto axe in specific because, well it's my auto axe and the way I built it isn't exactly the same as everyone else's. Uh, I didn't exactly go for a maxer type of build with this auto axe, not yet anyways, I'm still kind of figuring some stuff out but once I do I will upload a uh, footage of me absolutely wrecking things with my new and improved auto axe this is just for a current state uh, I just wanted to get a video out you know because why not so yeah uh, this is what I'm running pause to see you know the rolls on my armor and stuff it's nothing special uh, this is the effects I have right now just to show you what's buffing me and what's nerfing me you know all this show you what my special looks like all that and then after I am done with this, you can see the carnage. And I will play some neat little music for you to watch that happen so you don't get bored while watching it. Uh, I'd recommend it if you watch the whole video. I mean, it helps me out a lot. It adds more watch time. So if I somehow get my dream of 2,000 subscribers and enough watch hours, I can make this a side hobby or maybe a full-time career. That would be amazing. Anyways, let's get into the carnage. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, evening, or night.